Do you fancy being in a place where you can just relax while you enjoy a stunning coastal view and a great selection of food? Well, if that's what you're looking for, you'll never run out of choices here in Grand Cayman. Hi, this is Aideen and I make videos about my life as an expat here in the island. I will feature in this vlog three restaurants, from bar, casual dining, to fine dining. Let me remind you though that this is not a sponsored video. I'm just sharing my experience living and working here in Grand Cayman with you. And if that's interesting to you, then please consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. For our lunch, we had fried calamari, conch fritters, and foot long. We paid 77 CI for everything including piña colada, a regular soda, and 15% grats or gratuity. Most of the restaurants in Waterfront open at 12 noon in time for lunch. In this particular restaurant, since it's also a bar, their happy hour is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. If you're just in the mood for drinking and some comfort food, well, I suggest that you come and visit them. Apart from that, I really appreciate our server because she was so warm and welcoming. On to the next restaurant where we had our family dinner. Well, you can tell from its name that they offer a wide selection of fish and seafood in their menu. Although this restaurant also has a bar area, I will categorize this as more of a casual dining because I noticed there were more people actually dining than just drinking. Seemed promising, hmm? Because we're here to fill up our tummy. We ordered fried calamari and nachos for our appetizer, and for our main, we ordered seafood linguine, shack, chicken curry, and plantain mahi. At the time we were there, I noticed that there was only one server apart from the bartender, so our food took a while to be served. But it was okay, I guess the ambience was conducive to help us just feel relaxed and chilled while waiting for our food. Although I ordered plantain mahi for myself, my boyfriend shared with me his seafood linguine and I found it very tasty. So I guess that's what I'm going to order next time. We paid 164 CI for our dinner, and that includes gratuity. The standard grats here, or gratuity, is 15% in all restaurants. The overall experience was great, and we were all satisfied with the food. So yes, I will recommend this restaurant to you. We Filipinos love to eat. That's why in my previous vlogs, I already featured several restaurants. And there's this one restaurant where we had our Sunday breakfast some time ago. It also has this fantastic ocean view. I hope you check it out. The link is right here. This next restaurant that we visited is famous for their wine bar.
This would have been a spectacular sight to behold had we been here in daytime. For starter, I ordered pumpkin soup for myself and my boyfriend ordered ceviche. For our main, my boyfriend ordered seafood pasta, which I guess is becoming his favorite. while I ordered bacon-wrapped wahoo for myself. I love the combination of the sweetness of the bacon and the natural saltiness or sea flavor of the fish. It also has asparagus, beets, and carrots. And for our desserts, we went for a gluten-free variation and their cheese board. You probably noticed that they've incorporated heart shapes in our food because this is actually our Valentine dinner. By the way, as mentioned earlier, this restaurant is famous for their wine bar, so they have wide selections of wine. However, my boyfriend and I do not drink alcohol. I know it's boring, right? But it is what it is. We paid 209 and the usual it includes 15% gratuity. We also had for takeout two plates of beef short ribs. We also ordered diet soda and pineapple juice. Apart from the pumpkin soup, ceviche, seafood pasta, wahoo bacon wrapped, mm, cheese board, and their gluten-free desserts. For the ambience, the service, and the taste of the food, I would say that the money we paid for is worth it. If you want to check out the complete menu and other information of the three restaurants which I featured in this vlog, I will share their link in the description box below. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I hope I was able to impart to you the excitement and the joy we experience dining in this restaurant. But oops, there is more. If you're into fast food, well, Burger King here has the best location. You can enjoy your favorite meal with this fascinating view without putting a hole in your pocket. You can also bring your food and enjoy them outside just like my fellow Filipinos here.
But if you're looking for a new culinary adventure, maybe you can try this Filipino restaurant which is also located at the waterfront. My favorite here is their lugao or porridge in English or congee in Chinese, which is best with um, toasted garlic and spring onions. Every Sunday, they have this unlimited brunch buffet for only 12.50 CI. And here is the view from this restaurant. Look at the color of the sea. Who will not fall in love with it? Thank you for watching this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next time. Remember my channel, Aideen Overseas.